Hey guys, Arthur here with Stardust Automotive. Um, today we are working on a 4L80E out of a 2004 um, Chevrolet 2500 HD with a 6.0 gasoline engine. Um, so he came to us and he ended up having some issues with uh, having no reverse. Um, and so what I want to do is show you uh, some of the things that are going on. So if you guys have one um, and you decide to do this yourself, uh, you'll be able to see what may or may not end up happening. Uh, the 4L ADE transmissions are pretty uh, common for having uh, bad uh, reverse pistons or not being able to have enough on them uh, the, at the tip to be able to squeeze the band all the way together. Um, they just have a lot of issues. Um, but I ended up disassembling this. Um, took a look at the springs. The springs are okay. The seals are okay. Um, they're still all getting replaced anyway, but um, took a look at the main piston, uh, measured everything, and it, it still seems to be good. So um, ended up moving forward, uh, disassembled uh, the forward drum, the direct drum, um, the valve body, and just completely tore it apart and ended up coming to find out that the main shaft that slides through your um, sun gear shaft is actually bad um and i got these cleaned up because we're getting ready to um put the stuff back together but i'm still waiting for the main shaft to come in um but what i want to show you is if you look down here okay you'll notice that this whole piece is completely dug out like it, it's completely gone um you've got one good part that's over here and then the rest of it over here is just completely dug out. It's completely worn. And what ended up happening was this, your sun gear input shaft will slide, let me see here. It slides over top of this like so, and it rides right down there on the bearing. Now, if you look, all right, where it ended up going through, what happened was you can see the entire bearing that's on the inside is completely gone. You can even see a small crack that formed right there at the top. See it there? Um, and you can see where it's completely eaten out. And what it did was it ate the input shaft. Now, what happens is you've got um, this little cavity fills up with fluid. The transmission fluid goes through here and it, it literally becomes pressurized. So... Once this becomes pressurized, the valve will engage the pressure and it basically locks up, pushes on the piston with your reverse piston, which will press this together and squeeze around the drum. And that's how reverse happens. Well, because this was losing pressure through here, it wasn't able to pressurize the uh, reverse band enough and so it caused a lot of slippage uh, I got this all cleaned up and resurfaced but um, this had a lot of heat soak it was blue and red and it was just burnt up like crazy so um, because there wasn't enough pressure in here there wasn't enough pressure to be able to run through to be able to squeeze that together and it just it burnt everything up so um, we're gonna go ahead and replace the shafts um, we're gonna replace the bearings or bushings whatever um, and then put it back together, install a new band, install new friction seals, uh, Teflon seals, gaskets, the whole nine yards. We're completely rebuilding this whole thing. But um, I just want to show you guys uh, what can happen uh, on these uh, if you end up having a reverse issue. Um, obviously, first you want to check inside of the valve body to make sure that the reverse um, servo isn't malfunctioning and that there's not an issue inside the valve body because that's easy enough to get to if not once you tear this apart um you'll have to take a look at your reverse band once you get it tore off and you can see where it's just cracked and you can see it's just gotten torched um because instead of that pressure being able to squeeze this thing tight enough uh to grip around the drum it wasn't enough and so it just spun it and burned it to death um, and then you can see the effects of what happens when it burns the sleeve. Um, and it just causes it to crack and just destroys the, uh, there you go. There's a better picture of it. Destroy the, uh, um, shaft, the main shaft. So that's it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Um, you know, if you guys have any questions on these, uh, please feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 410-596-8985. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, this is Stardust Automotive. We're located out here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Go ahead, smash that like button. Uh, go ahead, share this and subscribe to my channel, and I'll keep putting these things out for you guys. God bless and have a wonderful day.